everybody, I was just talking to ChatGPT and we came up with a simulation of sorts of for a globular star cluster. And what I realized uh, as we were ending, or just after ending that live session, is I realized I should ask the question, are these stars interacting with each other or just the black hole? And the answer came back that it was just interacting with the black hole gravitationally. So I said, okay, let's develop this a little farther and uh, make this an n-body simulation uh, where everything is doing uh, pairwise interaction. Uh, which means that each and every one of these stars needs to know where each and every one of the other stars is uh, so that it can figure out its next step in the simulation. So here's here's what that's looking like. And if you want the code for these, um, I can uh, uh, provide that. Um, but let's go ahead and run this. We'll see that some of the stars get kicked out pretty fast because they get close to each other and they get gravitationally accelerated. And I'm only running 100 stars now because when I ran 1,000, I did not have good performance. But at least they're all interacting with each other gravitationally, which I think is cool. So maybe instead of a globular star cluster, this would be like an open cluster. I don't know, does open cluster have a black hole in the middle? I don't know. A loose cluster, whatever the astronomical uh, terminology is. And you see some of those, they get close enough to that black hole, they'll get kicked out. I am not doing any real careful like black hole physics. Um, this is just uh, just Good old F equals GMM over R squared. Um, and uh, and ChatGPT wrote the code anyway. So all I'm doing is just messing with parameters. But uh, once again, that just shows, well, first off, uh, what I was aiming for was an end body simulation. And that's not what I initially got, even though I was getting something that looked really impressive. Uh, and so that's a, you know, a little bit of a warning is make sure you check your work, make sure you're getting what you want when you're working with AI. But also, you know, it took me only an hour or so to get to this point from just having the idea of doing this. Um, and I think that's really remarkable, uh, especially where my, my coding experience is not, you know, not great compared to uh, someone that might have studied computer science in college. Uh, I studied just a little bit, but uh, yeah, so it just goes to show the uh, power of AI and Blender together. Uh, I am doing these videos to encourage you to get familiar with these tools to figure out what Blender can do, or figure out what AI can do, what they can do together. And I think that the more people that understand that, uh, the the more cool stuff we're gonna we're gonna be seeing. So anyway, there is the true end body simulation uh, running, and let's let's crank up the uh, difficulty level here real quick before I let you go. You can hang up on me anytime. Um, let's try it with two hundred bodies. Now every time I Let's see, double this, there's an exponential increase in the number of things it needs to keep track of. So now instead of one star looking at the other 99 and figure out where they're at, uh, now I have one star needing to look at 199 other stars to figure out where they're at. And that's for every one of those stars. So uh, as I increase the number of bodies in this simulation, it's going to increase the difficulty the computational difficulty uh, quite a bit but let's see how we let's see how it goes still playing pretty smooth at 200 so that's cool let's try 400 
the script actually sweeps out the scene, uh, has a clear scene function in it that uh, just gets rid of everything and then lays down new objects. There we go, now we're starting to chunk. Starting to chug. But still, if you wanted to watch that in a, uh, a nice, uh, smooth way, you could render the viewport or render from the viewport or we did find that rendering just a regular render uh, did crash a little bit uh, but you could put it into like render preview you could turn off the background or turn off the uh, the overlays and you could just do a view uh, viewport render animation and get something that looks pretty nice get those frames out and uh, turn that into a video. So anyways, there's a proper end body simulation. It, it was bothering me that uh, we didn't have the, um, the end body part figured out. It was just ignoring all the other bodies in the system and uh, only doing the, uh, only paying attention to where the black hole was, but uh, yeah enormous power available in blender and in ai so once again i encourage you to engage with these tools get your hands dirty actually do this stuff um, i'm i'm showing how to talk to uh, chat gpt um, in these live sessions that i'm doing and, and it really is pretty easy to get it to spit out some useful code and when you run into trouble, just tell it what 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 went wrong, and it will look through its code and fix it up for you. And uh, in no time, you'll be doing cool stuff like this. So, uh, happy blending to everybody, and have a lovely day.